What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here. And of course, the NFL schedule is now out for 2021. It's always a fun exercise to go through, maybe predict the record of your team, and, you know, just get a little bit of sense that football is closer to coming back, even though it is still four months away. And obviously, Packers fans are no different diving into the schedule right away, see who we play and when. Always a fun exercise to go through it the first time and, and do a little record prediction. So here on the channel, what we're going to do today in this video is we'll go through the schedule real quick, and then I'm just going to offer some of my initial thoughts and reactions uh, to the schedule and maybe a little bit of a record prediction at the end. So why don't we dive in first to see the schedule. All right, so starting out here, at week one, obviously, at New Orleans in America's Game of the Week, primetime uh, afternoon game. A good slot there. Come back home for Detroit on Monday Night Football. A true primetime game. Back-to-back -back weeks, actually, then. Going week three back to San Francisco in the Bay Area for Sunday Night Football. Should be a great matchup there. Come back, face a really good defense in Pittsburgh in week four at home. Week five and six are both on the road again here at Cincinnati and at Chicago. Come back home in week seven for a home date with the Washington football team. That is a fun team and a rising team for sure. Then short week for week eight on the road at Arizona. Then again on the road after that. A little bit of rest time in between games, though, of course, at the Kansas City Chiefs. That is the game to circle on the schedule, of course. Rodgers and Mahomes, hopefully we get it this time. Obviously, Mahomes was injured the last time these two were scheduled to meet. So fingers crossed we get that one this year. Weeks 10 to 18, obviously coming back here. After those two road games in Arizona and Kansas City with a home date with Seattle, always seem to find them on the schedule nowadays. Always usually a good game as well. Then week 11 at Minnesota, come back Thanksgiving weekend, week 12 with the LA Rams at home. Week 13, the bye week, of course. Nice to have it later in the year. Week 14, off the bye at home. Chicago Bears, Sunday night football. Going to be a fun one. Uh, Lambo will be rocking for sure. Uh, week 15 at the Baltimore Ravens. Another team that's um, pretty complete overall. And then week 16, Christmas Day, Cleveland Browns. Should be a fantastic game to watch. Week 17, staying at home. Day with the Minnesota Vikings. And then finishing with week 18 on the road at the Detroit Lions. Of course, Green Bay once again finds themselves on the road to start and finish the season. So, just some initial thoughts here for you guys really, uh, on the Packers' schedule. The first thing is obviously the Week 13 bye. And so in two years now under Matt LaFleur, off the bye, the Packers have been outscored 75-18. to 18. They just haven't clicked very well after a bye week for some reason. It's nice to have it later in the year, of course, for the stretch run, but off the bye, who do the Packers get this year? The Chicago Bears on Sunday Night Football. Let's hope that that trend does not continue against the Chicago Bears and new quarterback Justin Fields, who I assume will be starting by that point in the season, if not months earlier. So that's something to watch, obviously, with that late bye week. Will the Packers thrive off that late bye week for the stretch run? I think finishing really not a game that the Packers can't win uh, after that bye week, really. So I think it's a good spot to be in for a stretch run for a contending football team. Obviously, Road Warriors, 17-game schedule. Nine road games, and the front half of the schedule looks absolutely loaded with road games. Obviously, the four road games in five weeks is going to be a little bit taxing for this team. Obviously, Cincinnati, Chicago, you come back for the Washington football team, and then you go to Arizona and Kansas City. So that five-week span, it's a lot of road tripping for sure for the Packers. So we'll see how they handle that, and obviously, even like we said, the front half of the schedule really littered with road games. So we'll see how that's handled. Um, after that, I think the toughest games, when you want to look at their schedule in general, at San Francisco is going to be a tough game. I know the Packers seem to get the monkey off the back last year, but really that Niners team, a lot of injuries, just really was a shell of themselves at that point in the season. It was nice to see Green Bay go get a win there, but this time they'll be back with full force, and, and that's a team to be reckoned with, no doubt. So I expect the Niners to give their best punch in that game. So at the Ravens is another game I think will be tough for them just because, again, Lamar Jackson is a dynamic player. I think the roster is really complete. They added weapons on the outside who can make a difference. 
That defense really doesn't have a lot of major holes. They're going to get pressure and they're going to defend the pass well with that secondary. So just a complete team that will not be easy uh, for Green Bay on the road. The LA Rams. It's a different team with, with Matt Stafford at the helm. Obviously, the one thing the Packers will need to do really to win that game is create pressure. And the Rams, interestingly enough, did not address offensive line in the offseason or the draft. They're betting on in-house development from their guys. So that's something hopefully Packers can take advantage of that with hopefully, you know, Rashawn Gary, Kenny Clark, all those guys. Hopefully Gary takes a step. And we'll see at that point. That will be a tough game. It's a different team with Matt Stafford at the helm. There's no doubt about it. It's not Jared Goff anymore. At Kansas City, of course, how do you handle Hill, Kelsey, and all these guys with Mahomes running the show this time? We're going to find out. That offensive line is fantastic. They've reloaded that extremely well. That is probably the game that you feel like really the Packers will struggle the most with. And then I think the Cleveland Browns is the other game that I circled that I think is going to be a tough game, truthfully. Just... Again, another team that's really complete. Their back seven is outstanding. And Stefanski's done a great job with that offense. Uh, there's a lot of dimensions to it. So we'll see how the Packers defense fares. So those are my five toughest games. And then, again, the theme with this, I think, is tough defenses, truly. Packers offense is going to be tested this year. No matter who's under center. Pittsburgh, Cleveland, San Francisco, the Rams. Minnesota's a little bit revamped. Obviously, the Washington football team's got a great front seven. So there's a lot of good defenses the Packers face this year. Again, like we even mentioned, the Baltimore Ravens, maybe not elite, but there really aren't that many holes on that defense. So Packers are going to face a lot of good defense this year. It's going to be a great litmus test all season long for them. And then I think the toughest stretch, if we're talking really on the schedule where it is, I think it's the last six weeks before the bye week, truthfully. I, I really think Washington at Arizona, at Kansas City, Seattle, at Minnesota, and then the Rams at home. Those six games before the bye week is a stretch run that will be the biggest test for them, truthfully, on the schedule. A good defense in Washington who's got a lot of vertical threats. Arizona, dynamic offense, dynamic playmaker at quarterback. They've added some help in the receiving area, so with A.J. Green, Rondell Moore. Saving Collins, they've added that defense. It's versatile. they got a lot of playmakers there. Be an interesting game on a short week. Then they go to Kansas City. Of course, like we mentioned before, that'll be a tough game. Seattle is never an easy out for the Packers. It's always a good game. Except for that one time Russell Wilson threw like five or six picks. Other than that, always been good games. So never count Seattle out. They're going to have three threats at wide receiver that will stress defenses to its limit. Minnesota, I expect to be better, truthfully. I, I just expect them to be a lot better this year. Last year was a down year for them. They really haven't been that bad under Zimmer before. So I expect a bounce back year from them. And then, of course, the Rams, a team that maybe might be the NFC favorites outside of Tampa Bay. So those six games, I think, will be the toughest stretch. We'll know a lot about the Packers heading into that Week 13 bye week. So, finally, little record predictions, of course. Have to do it. Just my initial thoughts. I think, obviously, a lot depends, especially at the quarterback position. Will Rodgers be there? Will it be Jordan Love? I think with Rodgers, by just initial thought, just perusing the schedule, I said 12-5. and five. I do think there will be maybe slight regression, potentially, for the offense, but not enough to really make them not seem like a contender at all. I just think, again, the stretches are tough for them. It won't be a 13-3 and three season, I don't think. I, well, obviously it won't be because there's not 16 games. Duh. But... I don't know. 13 wins seems like a lot this year. I went 12 and 5. Without, I think it's 5 and 12 or 6 and 11. I really just don't see, again, throwing Jordan Love into the fire if he is indeed going to be the starter. I just don't think this is the year that if Love's going to hit a ceiling and this team's going to play well with him, I just don't think it's in year one. So with Rodgers, 12 and 5. Without, 5 or 6 wins, I think. So hope you guys enjoy this little video reacting initially to the schedule. I'm sure we'll have game-by-game -game predictions at some point on the channel, but just want to give you guys my initial thoughts. So if you liked and enjoyed this video, maybe drop a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. A lot more content coming out very soon. Packers, NFL, film rooms, draft stuff never ends, obviously. So a lot of stuff coming on the channel. Hope you guys stick around and enjoy it. So 
without further ado, I will see you guys very, very soon. Farewell.